Hello and welcome to another Let's Play The Ship. This time we're going to do something a bit different. I'm sorry for not finishing the last game, but uh, two things. One, I've been having horrible times recording for the last couple of days. And two, elimination mode just really isn't cutting it. I thought I could do like a quick 10 minute uh, elimination game and try to get through. And really it's just too rushed. It's not like the fun heart and... Uh, the real, it's not the ship that I know, and I want to give you guys the ship that I know, and all of the fun shenanigans that are involved. So today we're going to be on the PS Atlanta, it's an authentic paddle steamer for river cruises. There are going to be eight of us participating, and uh, yeah, I've edited the uh, format a little bit here, but uh, yeah, nothing you really have to worry about. Uh, so with no further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the ship. All right, here we are aboard the Atlanta. Now, we want to be a hunter, so let's go ahead and get started here. And it looks like we're Thurman J. Snitker, at least for now. What do we have in our inventory? Nothing. Uh, we're wearing uh, slacks with an open collar, because we're swanky like that. And half-moon glasses, also swanky. So the first thing we want to do is check out what our needs are. Looks like we could use a nap, so let's get that uh, started before the next round starts. And the way the rounds, the way the rounds work in this game are you get a mark and you have a set amount of time to kill that mark with the most expensive weapon you can find. Like I just pulled a candlestick and here's a knife. We're gonna pull those out of the drawer and is there anything in here? A cooking pot, but it's not worth very much. That 920 really isn't much compared to the uh, 2700 of the candlestick and the 1040 of the hunting knife. Oh, but there are other stuff in here. Women's clothing we can't wear. I know it's a shame. A barbecue fork is worth a ton, and an energy drink we can always use. So let's go ahead and grab both of those, and a safari suit, in case somebody notices us that we don't want them to recognize us immediately. Now this game is absolutely fabulous online, because a lot of other psychological things begin. Looks like a new game will start in 20 seconds, so let's see if we need to use the restroom before we get started. And we do a little bit, although we're going to eat right afterwards. Look at me not closing the door. I am just a... Oh, and there's a girl in... Oh, whoa, whoa, I am actually in the girl's... Haha, <laughs> look at me. So unprofessional. Okay, the next round's gonna start pretty soon, so I would like to get a bite to eat. Let's go ahead and check the floor plan. Cool, this is just a three deck. I like this one, it's only three decks. And the food and drink can be found straight away to the right, so let's go ahead and follow that. Looks like it's vending machines, which I'm fine with. We can do vending machines. I'd rather a three course meal and a well, uh, well-observed room, but it looks like I'm not going to get that. So let's go ahead and grab some juice, some candy bars, and who do we have to kill? Lita Line. Whoa, 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 buddy, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, well, that's this game. You are constantly, while you're hunting these marks you're given, there's somebody who's hunting you at the exact same time, and the idea is to get your kill before you're killed. Otherwise, uh, well, as you just saw, I got taken down. Uh, somebody came at me with a broadsword. So uh, I'm going to need to make a comeback. Luckily, we started off in the same room. Uh, we're a girl this time, though. We're Marcella L. Richard. And, uh, yeah, do we need a nap with this character, too? No, we're pretty good with this character. We might be able to, uh, might be able to get some food, though. That'd be nice. So let's go ahead and look for more weapons before we get moving on. A wallet bomb. A fun weapon, although not worth a whole lot. Let's, you know, let's go and move up a deck. Let's let's move up in the world. Um, we can actually talk to these people while we're at it as well. Alex Cargo. It's good to have these names down. And the reason it is good is because later on in the game, you'll find that uh, if you know what they look like, you can spot them in a room if you have, like, a gun or something ranged from across the way, and it's a lot easier. Oh, I know this level now. This is great. Is there a camera in here, or am I stuck eating? Oh, it doesn't matter. I've already died. So the downside is, is when you have been taken down, you have to uh, wait the entire round and the entire round of prep to uh, come back in, which really isn't all that bad, considering if you just lost like, well, I did, um, it's sort of a matter of just waiting around until, until you've gotten all your stuff back up. It gives you a chance to eat and the whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and use the restroom, because I think that's, yeah... Yeah, the next thing on the list. It's really a nifty mix between uh, a sort of like Sims-like personnel manager, except instead of, you know, making them live like you would, they're pitted against this great big game of Assassin. And look at that. The only kill was the kill against me, and he made some good money on it, too. Oh, oh that's not the bathroom. Just kidding. Ha. Okay, bathroom.
bathroom. Bathroom. Bathroom. Close. Don't let anyone see. Now, I'm trying something a little bit different. The speakers on my computer should be on, so hopefully you hear a little bit of the game. Um, the last couple of games I've been doing have been completely silent, which make me feel really awkward when it's quiet. Dex C, of course, he's as far away from me as possible. Molly Spaff, you don't want to kill me. Let's go ahead and hotkey our uh, most expensive weapon here, which is a frickin... Uh, it's not going to do. We have to kill somebody... W oh god. He's holding a sword. Uh, we have to kill somebody with a screwdriver, which may take a while. But, uh, you know, I'm, a, I'm an adventurous type of guy. He's all the way at the other side of the boat. Why am I getting these horrible marks? I'm just an unlucky guy. So he's on the bow of the deck. Deck C. That's the deck I'm on. And I have 90 seconds left to do him in. To do the deed. And I've got old news. He, he maybe hasn't... He's maybe not... He may not still be there, is what I'm trying to spit out. That cane is worth a ton. That may be more worth it. Oh, 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 oh. Is he our man? No. No, where is he? Well, this is horribly embarrassing. Corridor Dexy. He is... Oh, this way. Perfect. Let's go ahead and switch to the cane, because it's worth a ton of money. Um, hey there, buddy. Hopefully I don't get seen. Because if you get seen while you're uh, bludgeoning someone to death in the hallway, uh, you get sent to jail and find... He had a Tommy gun! Okay, I need to really check to see if there's a difficulty setting on this game. I really didn't look into it much. And that was... He should have pulled this thing out and rat a tat tat me. Like, that's one of the most deadly weapons of the game. And I should not be walking now. I should be a mess on the floor. But, uh, I think... We need our beauty sleep after something like that. And we're gonna we're gonna hotkey that Tommy gun in case somebody comes after us. And maybe use it for the next mark too. What else do we have that's an expensive weapon? <laughs> Croquet mallet. Uh you know this razor is worth a ton. And it's really easy to kill somebody with a uh, shaving razor. Surprise, surprise. So okay, I won that round, and uh, you can see killing with that walking stick really gave me the advantage there. So I'm going to read a book in here because it's safe because there's a police officer watching because my uh, my amusement needs to go back up. What else? I'm sure I'm totally unhygienic right now. And I need more drink and to talk to someone. Well, I'm going to talk to a shipmate because while it may be a bit more dangerous, it also tends to be a little more lucrative. You get your, uh, your talking April. <laughs> Hello, Chester. <laughs> Well, see, that's the way this game works sometimes, too. You'll be chatting somebody up, and then you'll get the okay to cut their head off with a uh, shaving razor, and voila, that's that's it. That's the game right there. You've won that round, and all you have to do now is stay away from the uh, Marguerite who is trying to kill you. This Marguerite is fortunately not trying to kill me. But anyone at any time may be trying to kill you. Oh, I'm in the camera here. I like that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a nice safe snack. Oh, I'm not in the camera anymore. Oh, oh, it was probably because I had witnesses. Now, the way witnesses work is generally you can't have too many people watching when you make a murder. You can have one person watch, but that's sort of insubstantial evidence, so to say. Do you have a gun in your hand? Because, so help me God, lady, if you pull something out towards me, that's going to be you. Yeah, you heard that, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Now, if you just kill someone... Oh my goodness, there's a gun at the bow. Whoa, 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 whoa. She's trying to push me over. I know she's trying to kill me. I can just tell. But uh, one of the things that's really cool about this game is that you can't just go on a mad murdering spree. You actually have to try. What the hell does that do? I'm really interested with this boat because there's levers and latches and all sorts of wacky things. Anyways, um, you can't just go willy-nilly killing people because you'll lose money. Now, you can kill the person who's trying to kill you, but you should probably make sure you know who that is first. Ooh, more weapons! Next time on Let's Play the Ship, more weapons! Woohoo!